Lemon drum. Okay. You're going to see it all over the place now that you know about it. And it often coats the log and it's like beautiful, like interconnected growth. But they are growing, growing uh, bigger, bigger. They're very small. Like that. Yeah, very small. But it's a very common species. Once you know about it, you'll see it everywhere. So, on this branch, we have another mushroom. So this one also is kind of leathery, it's growing on wood, it's got pores on the underside, so you would call it a polypore. Um, this one has concentric zones on the top of it, it's kind of hairy, it's fuzzy, velvety feeling, and it's got small pores, small white pores on the underside of it. Okay? And those are the three things that I tell everybody, if you have concentric zones, of varying colors. You got a fuzzy cap and you got pure small white pores on the underside. You have the turkey tail mushroom. Okay? So these are some turkey tails. You do a spore print. So you go to the white area of the book of the light spore groups and start looking through for a similar mushroom to this. Um, they have a very distinct stem on them which has this like these fibers going up and down a very fibrous look to them um, so to me it looks very clearly like a mushroom called Lepista arena which is related to the bluet okay if you know about the bluet we'll pass that around can just see the gill there we go yeah there we go thank you you guys want to see one that we picked? Let's take a look at the stem and everything on there. So the gills are attached. Um, they often can get pretty waterlogged because they're, they're out late in the year. Is this the same one? Yeah. But they, they last pretty well in the year. And they, yeah, growing in a circle is a characteristic of Lepista nuda, the wood blue, or Lepista um, I don't think it has a common name. If you guys want to take a few of them, I'm sure nature wouldn't complain. <laughs> so this gill is uh, attached? Yes. Oh. So that's gotten really brown. Is that what you're about? Yeah, it's like it's kind of like a purple green like color, right? Like for the gill. Okay. Ooh, beautiful. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Wow. So it's got pores and it's got a ring on the stem. You can see like a ring structure too. And then uh, it's got a little bit of like fiber remnants around the margin. Um, the pores are in kind of a reticulated pattern. They're pretty large. And I'm just kind of like bruising it gently to see if it changes color. I'll pass that around. So this is definitely a bully. They're tr they're growing the ground. They're fleshy mushrooms, and they have pores. But if you cut it open, they're not just simple pores. They're like elongated tubes. Okay. So there's a good like flesh layer, and then there's a layer of tubes. And uh, generally, they're good edible mushrooms. Um, there's lots of different species, so you can get a few better books to help you identify them. But there's very few poisonous ones, they're almost all edible. Mm -hmm. So it's like a good group to work with. If you can tell it's a bully, then you've probably got a good meal to take home. And so, this is a rule to separate the three largest groups of bolites. Uh, you generally feel the cap surface. So, um, if it's a smooth surface, it would be in Boletus. And um, they were growing on well-rotted wood. They've got these striated lines in the stem, these fine lines that run down the stem. They've got a membranous ring that uh, usually sticks to the stem or it can disappear as it gets older. These ones are almost disappearing. The gills are attached 
and they are turning rusty brown because they have rusty brown spores. And you can see the rusty brown spores on the cap of one of them because they made a spore print right on the cap of the one beside it. Okay? So these are a deadly poisonous mushroom. Very common. Uh, looks a lot like a honey mushroom sometimes, or grows in the same area, but you can easily tell them apart by looking closely. Okay? Spore print is an easy way to do it. Honey mushrooms have a white spore print. The deadly gallerina has a brown spore print. Does it identify it? Yeah. Actually, can I have the sun, please, guys? <laughs> okay, thank you. I'm curious to see the head. Yeah, I got one. I wrote 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 Hey, just for your own fun, the difference between turkey tail and some of its relatives, okay. or some similar looking mushrooms. Which one is the turkey tail? <laughs>